All the culture and adventure you dream of, just without the crowds. Welcome to Mojo Travels, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 even more underrated European cities for your next trip. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Mojo Travels and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at more European cities that have a ton to offer travelers, but which receive relatively few tourists and little attention compared to more major European destinations. Number 10. Sofia, Bulgaria Nestled at the foot of the Vitosha Massif, this nation's capital is a great choice any time of year. Not only do the mountains make for a breathtaking backdrop, but should you choose to visit during the winter months, you can hit the slopes to enjoy some world-class skiing. Sofia is a beautiful city, but an undeniably eclectic one. It bears the mark of a wide variety of influences, including Soviet architecture, but also Greek, Ottoman, and Roman touches. A product of its long and storied history, Sofia somehow manages to unite these disparate elements to create an atmosphere that's laid back, welcoming, and culturally rich. The city might not look it, but it's got a very youthful spirit. Whether you're interested in restaurants and clubs, museums, cathedrals, and mosques, or all of the above, it's never hard to find something to see or do in Sofia. Number 9. Bologna, Italy If we were going strictly by what a city has to offer, Bologna would be much higher on this list. The only reason that it comes in at number 9 is the underrated factor. Though it continues to be overlooked by many travelers as they jump to Florence and or Pisa to Milan or Venice, Bologna is beginning to generate greater interest. Translation, if you want to beat the crowd, head there sooner rather than later. The capital of the Emilia-Romagna region, Bologna is very much defined by its student population. The University of Bologna was founded in 1088 CE, and to this day, the students that flock to the city lend it an energy that contrasts wonderfully with the iconic porticos and medieval architecture. If you're looking to spoil your stomach and palate, Bologna is a great choice. The city, and for that matter, the larger Emilia-Romagna region, is considered the country's contemporary foodie capital. Number 8. Vilnius, Lithuania One look at Vilnius and your jaw will hit the floor. It is, without a doubt, among Europe's most beautiful cities. And yet, many travelers have never even heard of it, let alone consider taking a trip there. The old town has been remarkably well-maintained. And while the cobblestone streets and heritage buildings are indeed breathtaking, Vilnius makes no secret of its World War II history, which is detailed in various museums. Though Vilnius remembers the past, its present and future is defined by its artistic spirit, entrepreneurial efforts, and the many trendy bars, restaurants, and boutiques. Depending on when you visit, you may see hot air balloons floating above the city. Not only do they add a certain whimsical quality to the storyline, but also an opportunity to appreciate it from above. Number 7. Gothenburg, Sweden In Sweden, second place doesn't get you much attention, at least not as far as tourism is concerned. The nation's capital, Stockholm, attracts approximately 4.7 million visitors annually, while the country's second city, Gothenburg, attracts less than half of that. Anyone who assumes that Gothenburg is just a smaller, less remarkable version of Stockholm, however, is in for quite the surprise. A university city, Gothenburg doesn't take itself too seriously. It makes no attempt to compete with Stockholm, and that gives it a notably laid-back vibe. Be that as it may, the city has a lot going for it. It plays host to a number of excellent festivals, including the internationally renowned Gothenburg Film Festival. The city's blend of contemporary and historic architecture is best appreciated on foot. Gothenburg is extremely walkable. Add to that the 17th century canals, ample green space, a vibrant waterfront area, and countless cool businesses to check out, and Gothenburg is a winner. Number 6. Bratislava, Slovakia the 2004 comedy Euro trip painted the Slovakian capital as a crumbling post-Soviet hellscape. And given the city's lack of name recognition before the film, this unflattering depiction likely hurt its tourism potential in a major way. Well, we're here to set the record straight. Bratislava is historic, beautiful, modern, and quite frankly, a revelation to most travelers. Though there have been plenty of contemporary additions to the skyline, much of the city looks like it was ripped from the pages of a fairy tale complete with the pristine hilltop Bratislava Castle overlooking the city. Bratislava sits on the banks of the Danube River, which also adds to the overall sense of whimsy. 
From beer halls to nightclubs, Bratislava knows how to party. But being a city of contradictions, it also boasts a surrounding landscape of rolling green hills that's home to numerous vineyards. Add Bratislava to your bucket list. You won't regret it. Number 5. Dresden, Germany When it comes to travel in Germany, Munich and Berlin loom large, casting a shadow over the other cities, no matter how deserving of attention they might be. In fact, in terms of annual visitors, Dresden is only seventh in the country, with Hamburg, Frankfurt, Cologne, and Dusseldorf standing between it and the big two. But if you're looking for a classic German city experience, with a fraction of the crowds, Dresden is the place to be. You can sample the country's world-famous traditional brews at a beer garden while marveling at modern German efficiency. Dresden is among the greenest cities on the continent, and because of its royal history, it's also rich in palaces, churches, and various other ornate structures of architectural significance. The city was heavily bombarded during World War II, making it a must-visit for anyone with a passion for world history. Number 4. Ljubljana, Slovenia A country with a total population of just 2.1 million people, Slovenia tends to fly under the radar as a whole. Ljubljana, however, deserves far more attention than it's gotten to date. With the Ljubljanica River running through it and an abundance of green space, Slovenia's capital is a pleasure to navigate, especially since motor vehicles are strictly limited in the city center, freeing up space for pedestrians and cyclists. The end result is a city experience that is uncommonly peaceful. Furthermore, and in no small part thanks to Joža Plečnik, a Slovenian architect who had a major hand in shaping the skylines of Vienna, Prague, and Ljubljana, the city rivals the aforementioned cities in terms of beauty. Because Slovenia's tourism industry is considered among the most sustainable in the world, you can enjoy its museums, cafes, stores, natural beauty, and various attractions in a guilt-free way. Number 3. Segovia, Spain Speaking of guilt-free travel, Spain is a destination that can be rather difficult to navigate in that regard. Hugely popular with international travelers, the country's most popular destinations have started pushing back against the tourism industry. Thankfully, you can still enjoy Spain without feeling like you're contributing to the problem. A city that feels grand and mythic, Segovia is perhaps best known for its castle, which is said to have given Walt Disney the inspiration for Cinderella's abode. Add to that the Segovia Cathedral and the towering Roman aqueduct, and Segovia rightfully inspires a sense of wonder. But even despite its status as a World Heritage Site, Segovia never feels overcrowded likely because Spain is just so jam-packed with popular destinations for it to compete with. To be clear, the city does receive many visitors, but relative to Barcelona or Madrid, it remains pleasantly uncrowded. Number 2. Braga, Portugal Once not so long ago, Portugal felt like the answer to Spain's over-tourism issues, with travelers finally recognizing the appeal of this neighboring nation. Unfortunately, Porto and Lisbon are now sagging under the crushing weight of being trendy destinations in their own right. To experience everything that Portugal has to offer while maintaining some personal space, set your sights on Braga. Only about an hour away from Porto by rail, the country's third largest city is home to under 200,000 residents and attracts a fraction of the travelers hosted by the aforementioned cities. Wander the narrow laneways, marvel at the Baroque churches, and relax in Braga's many spacious plazas. And you won't help but think this is Portugal as it was meant to be experienced. Although Braga may be small, it checks all the boxes, including great food and local wines, as well as fashion boutiques, cafes, and bars to discover. Number 1. Luxembourg City, Luxembourg This city makes for a trip unlike any other. Much of Europe boasts old-world architecture, but few other places offer so many noteworthy architectural and historic marvels in such high concentration. The city as a whole feels like a living exhibit, and a stunning one at that. The dramatic landscape, including the Alzette and Petrus rivers, only serves to further heighten the wow factor of this pint-sized nation's capital city. Because of its modest footprint and close ties with its neighbors, Luxembourg feels like a fascinating blend of French, Belgian and German influence, all tied together by Luxembourg's own distinct culture. Given the city's important economic and political role in the European Union, however, it has attracted world-class chefs, making it a great choice for foodies. In fact, everything about Luxembourg's cultural scene, from the museums to the nightlife, feels like that of a city many times its size. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Mojo Travels, 
and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.